If the display assembly in your MacBook Air is cracked or unresponsive, it's time to tackle that repair. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the display assembly in your 13-inch MacBook Air. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair, you're going to need a P5 pentalobe screwdriver, a T5 Torx screwdriver, a T8 Torx screwdriver, and a spudger. I have all the tools I need, and I also have my magnetic mat. It's not listed as one of the required tools, but I never do a repair without it. It helps me stay organized and keeps me from losing important parts. Today, I'm working on an early 2015 version of the MacBook Air. While some of the steps are very similar to other versions of the MacBook Air, always follow the step-by-step -step guide for your specific machine. You can find all the guides on ifixit.com. These guides not only walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it to help you when you do your repair. Let's get started. First things first, make sure your computer is completely turned off and disconnected from any power source. Then flip your air over so we can tackle the back panel. To do that, we're gonna unscrew the pentalobe screws holding it in place. There are 10 screws total, but there are two that are right under where the display meet the case that are a different size. So make sure you separate those from the rest on your magnetic mat when you take them out. Now you can pull the lower case off with your fingers. Before we go any further, we're going to disconnect the battery. Apple made this part easy for us by adding a plastic pull tab. Pull it towards the front of the air to disconnect the battery from the logic board, but make sure you don't pull up and damage the connector. Now that the battery is disconnected and the air is de-energized, let's move on to the fan. Right next to the fan, you'll see the I.O. cable connector. It's attached to the fan with a little light adhesive and connected to the board underneath. We're going to disconnect the side closest to the fan on the I.O. board with our spudger and then peel it away from the fan. Then disconnect the other side of the cable from the logic board and remove it from the air. Now we have a clear view of the fan zip connector. So let's unlock the retaining flap and move on to the rubber gasket. The rubber gasket is secured to the top of the fan with some light adhesive. We're gonna use our hands to peel that up from the fan, but we don't need to remove it from the computer completely. Now there's only three things standing in our way from removing the fan three different size T5 screws. Make sure you make note of which screw came from which hole so you can get them back in the right place. Once they are removed, you can take the fan out of the air. Removing the fan will also disconnect the fan ribbon cable, so just be careful not to snag it. Next out of the air is the I.O. board. In order to remove that, we're gonna disconnect a few cables. First, use your fingers to disconnect the power cable connecting it to the logic board. And then use the flat end of your spudger to disconnect the left speaker cable connector. When you're done with that, you can turn your spudger around to use the tip to carefully flip up the retaining flap on the microphone ribbon cable zip socket. And while you're there, just pull the ribbon cable from the socket. The I.O. board is held in place by one T5 screw. Before you lift the I.O. board out of the rear case, gently deroute the camera cable from the notch on the I.O. board. Now you can lift the I.O. board from the logic board side and pull it free from the upper case. There are a few more cables that we need to deal with before removing the display. 
and they are the antenna cable that runs along the top of the logic board and the camera cable that is still connected to the logic board and the display cable. To remove the antenna cable, we need to first disconnect it from the airport card using the flat end of our spudger. Next, let's turn our attention to the camera cable. Start by walking the camera cable connector out of its socket. You're going to push one side with the tip of your spudger and then do the same on the other side. You can find the display cable all the way on the other side of the board. To disconnect it, we just need to pull up the plastic pull tab to unlock it and slide it straight out of its socket. Make sure you're pulling parallel to the logic board and not straight up. We have some screws to tackle before the display can be removed, starting with the inner four T8 screws holding the display hinge in place. We're going to leave those outer two screws in place just to make our lives a little easier as we work on this disassembly. Before we get to work on the last screws, let's go ahead and deroute the antenna cables out of the channel cut into the upper case. Open your display like you're about to use it and place it on your work surface on its side and let's get to work on those last screws. Before removing the last display screw, be sure to hold the display and uppercase steady with your other hand. You don't want any components to fall out on the table. And now you can remove that last screw holding the display in place. With nothing holding the display to the rear case, we're going to nudge it off completely. Open the air slightly to allow room for the hinges to slide out of their notches. Push the upper case slightly towards the display assembly, then push back from the hinges. Once the two display hinges have cleared the upper case, remove the display. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse, or you can watch the MacBook Air reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com, and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay or follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.